evening. Salutations. I'm sure the alert isn't going to go out to everybody because I, I did do a video already today. So it's going to be a while before this alert gets out to everybody. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Dude, the gold dust theme is fire. Like, it's always fire. She knows how to kill. Mm. Gold dust on. I got my gold crust on. I got my gold lust on. Yeah, man. Um, I I just I, I didn't even know that marvelous Marvin Hagler uh, died. Uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler, man. I mean, when when you were younger, when I was younger. You know, there were names that we all knew. You know, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. You know, um, maybe you forget them over the years, I guess. I don't know. Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, um, Muhammad Ali. Those three guys come to mind. Um, those are really the guys, man. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. And I guess I, you know, I ended up knowing Evander Holyfield, obviously, but I didn't, I didn't really like, you know, Evander Holyfield. I thought he was a, I thought he was a puss. That's why I was happy that Mike Tyson bit his friggin' ear, okay? Because the guy was headbutting Mike Tyson, like a scumbag, headbutting Mike Tyson. And finally, Mike Tyson said, "All right, you're gonna like concuss me with a headbutt, and they're not gonna do anything about it. I'm gonna rip your freaking ear off with my teeth." And that's what Mike Tyson did. I love Mike Tyson. I know that you could say, like, well, that's, you know, very sophomoric, very illogical behavior. You know what I mean? But you know what? At this point, I I don't care. I think Mike Tyson nailed it. Yeah, George Foreman, we knew him. But I knew him, you know, I mean, more of the grill, you know, to be honest. Those were guys I actually saw box. I, I didn't really see George Foreman box that much. Rarely. I mean... These are people I'm talking about growing up, you know, in the 80s, 90s, you know, Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. And I wasn't a big boxing guy, you know what I mean? But Marvelous ha Marvin Hagler is another one. You know, those three guys stand out to me and I really can't. I'm trying to think of somebody else, man. Maybe throw some names out there and let me know. I must have just watched the Tyson documentary. No, I haven't seen the Tyson. Well, which one? Because I'm talking about... I remember there was one that brought that up, and it was from the one that we talked about a long time ago. It was the Mike Tyson documentary that came out a long time ago, like eight years ago or something like that. Like Mike Tyson on Mike Tyson or something. I don't know. There's been like five documentaries on Mike Tyson in the last 10 years, major ones. And the more popular ones weren't that good, I thought. I thought this one was the best one. This is the one where he called... You might be talking about the same one, but this is the one where he said... Uh, this is the one where Mike Tyson basically said that um, Don King would sell his mother for a dollar or whatever. That was the funniest. That, dude, that was hilarious. Don King would sell his mother for a dollar. He'd sell his mother out. He'd eat his mother for a dollar. <laughs> like, it was something like... Dude, it was hilarious. Uh, Don King robbed the hell out of him, bro. He was like, oh, you're dumb. Like I'm going to take all your money. And, you know, Don King, you know, Mike Tyson talks about on that documentary how, like, you know, he was suckered in by Don King because there was so many white people, white guys and businessmen and, and people like that in boxing. And, you know, here's this, you know, he says something like, oh, you know, he, you're supposed to be my black brother, my my brother, my black brother. You know, I'm supposed to be able to trust you. And so, and it was like, yeah, man, he took advantage of that, 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 you know, Tyson, like, Hey man, listen, I know you, I came from places like you, you know, I, they don't understand us. I'll take care of you type of thing. And really the guy just robbed Mike Tyson. And, uh, 
that was kind of sad, man, that that, that seems to be exactly what happened. But uh, whatever the reason is and whatever else, at least Tyson figured it out eventually, I guess, you know. But um, he robbed me, man. That's not even Mike Tyson's accent. I just can't do any accents right now. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, Marvelous Marvin uh, Hagler is uh, also in that category to me of, you know, at a time when he was just, man, he was crazy. Like, he was so, uh, he was always so over, although I didn't get to see much of him because most of what I heard and what I caught from Marvelous Marvin Hagler was more of the tail end. Like, when people would talk about Mike Tyson and the boxers that I watched in the early 90s to mid to mid mid 90s, early 90s, and late 80s, you know, um, they would bring up Hagler, you know, to talk about the old, you know, the older guys like, oh, you know, Muhammad Ali and Marvin Hagler. And, you know, and that's how I would hear about Hagler. And the only way to see Hagler would be if there was some kind of replay going on, if there was a documentary on TV or, you know, if you went down to the video store and a lot of times the video store guy that at least I had, not only did he have everything to rent out front, you know, and uh, things like that. I rented some boxing matches there, but he also had his own tape collection. And not only did he have his own tape collection, but he had his own like, I don't know, I guess it would be illegal technically what he did. Because if you walked in there and you were like, ah, man, I missed the Marvin Hagler fight, or I missed the Tyson fight. You know, I fortunately, I missed that Tyson fight. Oh, yeah, did you catch the one from last year when he fought this guy? Oh, no, I didn't see any of them. Hey, listen, man, I got it. You know what I mean? And uh, it would basically be like, you know, you throw me an extra 10 bucks or whatever, I'll let you borrow it and whatever else. I'm pretty sure that's like illegal, but like he was doing that with everything. He had wrestling tapes that he had acquired on his own, or he'd tape trade. He would trade you tapes too. He'd be like, bro, make a copy of it if you want, but you got to bring it back. And and he probably didn't say bro because nobody said bro back then, I feel like, but uh, maybe they did. I, I don't really remember. But uh, it was, I just want to also play uh, Pity from last night. Uh, I'll monetize this, who dropped a uh, ferocious a ferocious bomb while everything was so uh while everything was falling apart last night on monetize this which is that was probably the i want to say that that was the 10th time that monetize this has gone into hell last night but we'll talk i'll talk more about that on corrupted tonight i'll be live on patreon with corrupted i'll be there questions are up now on patreon if you guys want to ask them and i'll probably talk about some things but um yeah it's uh let me play let me see if I can play this from him just to give him some love. Let's see if it works. There it is. Kenny Omega. Oh, it's in the bunghole. We play in the spot all day. I want you to jam. Happy birthday, Jesse. You fucking ruined the show. Drinking Red Bull now, motherfucker. Video hard tip two hundred dollars. Happy fucking birthday, Jesse. But fuck your birthday. Give me a spin, baby. Prue, you're doing just fine, my guy. Drink up, fellas. Woo. Yo, pity. Uh, thank you, sir, for that two hundred dollars last night. It did play on the show last night, but I just wanted to give it love. Just want to give it some more love right there. Um, I'll probably talk more about that later on tonight on Corrupted, and we'll have a decent time uh, potentially. So we'll, I'll, I'll talk about that on Corrupted. Um, oh, you're right. Uh, the DMX thing, that's a great point, villain. That was pretty funny last night. I should find that now, actually, and play it. Should I find it now and play it? It was kind of funny. Um, let me try to pull it up here. I uh, just want to make sure I get the right right spot I don't remember I don't even know it wasn't even that funny really I don't think because like I remember I was trying more harder to do the DMX voice and I couldn't I couldn't quite get the DMX voice down 
but here's monetize this to 307 but as you can see it's partially blocked in most countries it's actually blocked in most countries jesse's birthday partially blocked so it's partially blocked and there's a lot of other things uh, boom gotta fix that as i take a sip of my beverage oh boy let me see here let me take a look at it let me see if i can find it can we find it let's see if we can find it i'm looking man i don't you know what it is is there hasn't been enough time for people to time stamp it yet so it's kind of like one of those things where like i can't time stamp it uh wwe's on the table AEW's on the table ufc's on the table whatever you want it's all on the table uh, right now man but yeah, unfortunately, because nobody was able to timestamp it, uh, like somebody else would probably know more than me. They'd listen. They did because what happens is a lot of people are awesome. When you guys are listening to the shows, you guys are awesome, and you'll be like, "Oh, you know," you'll be listening an hour and a half in, and something funny will happen. You'll be like, "Oh shit!" And you'll go on your phone. You'll be like, "Yo, this was funny as hell. It just happened," and you guys will timestamp it as always, and that's that's usually a big help because I can never remember where the fuck stuff happens. But um, I'll see if I can find it. I don't think I had him up on the screen when I was talking about it, unfortunately. So that 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 this is a hard guide. It's a hard to find it without a guide. There is no guide. Oh, remember this? Remember this happening? Oh my god, this was funny. For the people that wanted to watch monetize this parts again. This big lady. It's kind of gross, too. <laughs> she People haven't like fought back with like baseball. God, I'm about to fart. Oh God! I can't get out. I can't get out. My <laughs> bunghole is so fat. Oh my God! I Look at this. The food in the store. Holy shit. Look at my gluttony. <laughs> my pussy could give birth to an entire man. I ate a fucking Jeez. garbage can. What? I'm gonna die. Look at her. Look at my thigh. <laughs> I can't get out. I can't get out. I know I'm That's like getting the, a marshmallow through the eye of a needle. Ultra wide. I can't get out. <laughs> Watch it. Bam. Wow. Wait, wait, here come. Boom. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you can watch it all day. <laughs> How the fuck did she get in the building? She was right. Right. Maybe checking her. She hadn't eaten yet. A forklift. That's what I'm saying. She ate Are the fucking food. She a forklift. Dude, she went in there for a free fucking meal. Is what happened. <laughs> they let her in through the loading dock. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Holy shit, brother! This, this is like a fucking deformed camel. What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is the wrong this place? fucking. What is this, uh, this fucking uh, cranberries music playing? I don't know what that was. I don't, well, I found that. I don't know if I can find the DMX thing. I'm still trying to find the DMX thing. I don't remember when it happened. I don't really remember when it happened. My buddy Bobby was over a couple weeks ago and he left uh, his vodka here. He goes, I won't drink it. You keep it. I'm like, okay. I don't really drink uh, vodka really too much, but, uh, you know, I have a uh, vodka and cream vanilla that I bought and I bought, um, rum, coconut rum. I got that, but he left, uh, he, he, you know, he left the big, he left the big handle of, uh, of the Tito's here. So, I mean, I guess I get lucky that my buddy left it over here. So thanks to him. Oh shit. As I drop it. Very strange, man. But yeah, it was wild. Very weird. Um, I I didn't even I couldn't even drink last night, man. I felt just terrible. I couldn't even do it. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I was like, yes, do it. But you know what? I, if I had gotten drunk last night, I I probably would have blown up into the atmosphere. You know what I mean? I would have flipped the fuck out. And uh, I, it would have been an ugly... I mean, I was sober angry. Imagine if I had been drinking. I would have fucking probably bashed, like, my goddamn wall through the... Like, it would have been crazy. 
Shit bomb. Going nuts. Can you put up that DMX bullfrog song? There's uh the villain's uh super chat from earlier. Uh yeah, I can put I can put that up on like Patreon or something, villain. Thank you, villain. I don't I gotta find it though. I gotta figure out where the hell it is. Not a hundred percent sure. Straight vodka on the rocks. That sounds kind of nice. Attitude era. Maybe it will work, man. But I just, you know what? I got so much esophagus, esophageal, whatever you say, damage. I feel like, and heartburn and things like that. That I, I just, I don't know, man. I feel like if I like when I drink vodka, it just murders me. You know, like it burns the shit out of me because this is all just fucked up. You know what I mean? Like it's all messed up. So it's just a mess, you know, like I feel like if I drink like that's like I have to I do have to mix something I, I can't do back in the day. Like when I, you know, even all my 20s. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, vodka, blah, 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 blah. like, oh, my God, dude. Now, if I just drink something straight, I mean, I can do it. And if I was around a bunch of guys and they were like, yo, what are you a bitch? Like and like we were all like, nah, fuck, I'll do it. You do it. Let's all do it. I, oh, I'd probably I'd do it, man. I would just be like, oh, fucking and then I'd probably suffer. I'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, it's God good. Are you good? Like, I'm good. Like, meanwhile, the insides are just ripping off. Like, and you're just like, ah, like, you're just dying. You know, I probably would have done it in, in front of a bunch of guys. Like, if I was a bunch of friends or something like that, I'd let the peer pressure, uh, you know, take over. I, and I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. You won't monetize this with uh, Kermit? Yeah, what's up, man? What's up, GMTA? No, Nightbot didn't get you, man. You look good to me. I usually see when the robot bans you because it tells me eventually. Take LSD. It's good for your mental health, says Too Sweet. That's a little bizarre. I just, I don't believe you. I don't know why. LSD? Come on, bro. you got to be kidding me. Take LSD. Dude, can you imagine? Dude, look at what I'm like sober. What if I'm on LSD? Dude, like, what happens if I'm on LSD? Are you serious? Like, can you imagine me? Like, I'm already fucking crazy. You want me to take LSD? Oh, my God, dude. I mean, like, I would be... I wouldn't even do it because I wouldn't do it in a house with kids. You know what I mean? Like, so even if you were like, just do it. I've got some. Here you go. Try it. I wouldn't even do that because, like, what if I become an axe murderer or something? Or what if I just become insane? It's like, I don't want to be around my family. So, like, I wouldn't even... And I also, I wouldn't do it because what if something bad happens to me because I made a weird decision on it or whatever. I, You know what I mean? You never know, especially with me, how that could affect anybody and me mentally. Now, maybe you're laughing like, that wouldn't happen. But, you know, you never know, dude. Look what happened hey, to Joe, want to me. hear two jokes. Why do orphans go to church? Oh, no. So they have someone to call father. Oh, ha, no. ha, ha, oh my ha, ha. God. What's the difference between guy and batman oh batman can go to the store without robin oh pecharo my god you sickos what's up with the minorities fighting with each other on these shows it's so weird they like attack each other through donations Th there seems to be a lot of angst around the half black half white people too i don't know why the half black half white people are attacking everybody the hispanic people are attacking the black people and the black people are attacking the hispanic people and some of the black people are attacking the white two people too. Like I don't know what's going on in the donations, man. But you guys are all attacking each other. It's seemingly mostly the minorities, though. It's very strange. You guys are really like it's like you're fighting for like it's like like you're I don't know what's going on. I, <laughs> I have no idea, but it's going on. I know that it's we got proof in the donations that it's going on. You guys are battling with each other, um, and it's hilarious. You know what I mean? I'll eat a big fat potato. You know, one thing that I'm really excited about with St. Patrick's Day, you guys have been talking about St. Patrick's Day a little bit here. One thing that I'm really happy about with St. Patrick's Day, no doubt about it, is, dude, corned beef and hash is, or corned beef and all that stuff is my favorite shit. Like, dude, the, the cabbage, corned beef, cabbage, all that shit. Dude, I'm angry that I haven't eaten more of it, actually, now that I think about it. I love, in March, we always seem to eat it multiple times, and then it comes back again, and we continue to eat it for a little while. Then it sort of dies off by, like, June, like, March, April, May. But then, like, by June, it goes away, and then it becomes hamburgers and hot dogs again if you're fat and gross. And then, you know, it just sort of disappears a little bit into the winter eventually. And then it comes back out in March, you know, and, um, oh, my God, I just made a noise, a noise like Drew last night. I just went, <sighs> did you guys hear that noise that Drew made that I played? It was, like, 
I don't think I saved it either, so I'd have to go back to edit it. But he was like gurgling, which I think I just did. So, I mean, obviously both of us are having some kind of breathing trouble, you know, that I'm on a, that, you know, I don't know why. Uh, so Marvin Hagler, man, we could talk more about him, but let me just go to the, let me see what, uh, what's going on here. We got another drop. Let's see. Did you just donate to Joe? Did Peta. you just donate to Joe? Thank you for the donation. What's up, Hedda? And because you donated, I'm going to feast myself in the bunghole. <laughs> Pedda tipped three dollars. Looking at this past year in retrospect, it's depressing to think about the idiot dumb fucks who have said things like COVID is a hoax or that the virus isn't real. Now those PPA are saying vaccines don't work and it kills PPA even though it's literally saving lives. Yeah, Peta, um, I think one of the problems is, unfortunately, like, I think some people are, like, looking at the Pfizer thing, like, oh, you know what, they're, uh, you know, they've broken several laws and done all these terrible things. So people like don't trust them, but it's still work. It's still working. You know what I mean? It's still a new, you know, wait, wait till we get nanobot technology, guys. Right. Like, cause I'm a big, you know, kind of into the science stuff. Wait till we get nanobot technology. Right. Like I'm talking about like in your body. Like, so when we come out with these new nanobots in the future, right, this isn't now, this is like in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever it is, 10 years, 20 years, I don't know they're going to have these nanobots that attach themselves to like your, your, your DNA and your body and your organs and stuff. They're going to go around all your body and they're going to be like hooked up to computer, like virtually, right? Like you could have a cell phone out, you could have your phone out and you could just be looking at your phone and it's like, um, it will tell you what's going on with the nanobots in your body. Like, Oh, the nanobots are isolating a cold that you're dealing with. It looks like your white white blood cell count is up, up or whatever. Um, this is normal. This can be normal usually, but blah 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 blah. And it's like you, you'd be like, "Wow, I got all this information," and like, "Oh, the nanobots are noticing uh, irregular cell formation, and they're begun inspecting quadrant three of your lungs or something." And then, if if cancer starts developing, it's it's like you know this is progress to pre cancer. Um, and you can actually probably decide what the nanobots do, or you could then go into the doctor because the nanobots have identified, maybe they can't fix the cancer, right? Can't fix it, but maybe the, the nanobots can see the cancer starting. And so the nanobots are like, oh shit, you need to go see a doctor pre-cancer, pre-cancer. You go to the doctor and they're like, yep, the nanobots identified precancerous area. And yeah, it looks like pre some precancer is starting to begin here, or there's a danger of precancer, or there's these cells coordinating. And then just go in there, just fucking zap it out. Boom, got the cancer. Okay, you're all set. All set to go. And that's it. You never even got the stage one, two, three, four. It's 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 it was eliminated with with in pre it was either eliminated right at the very beginning or pre-cancer because these nanobots are going to be able to identify that throughout your body, you know, because it's stuff that we can we can find it out now, but you have to go to the doctor and they have to suspect something or they have to be doing a complete body scan of you for some weird reason, right? But they can find it now. They can find the pre-cancer stuff now. But what's the solution? Well, the solution is you can't just go to the doctor all the time. Nobody wants to go to the doctor all the time. No doctor wants to do some mass full body inspection of your body unless there's a reason to. So the cancer always progresses to a higher level, stage one, stage two, stage three. Usually it progresses to a stage one, two, three, or four because all these little symptoms that you have take a long time for you to finally kick in and be like, oh shit, I got to get checked. And they go, oh damn, this has been going on how long? And now this is happening to you? Shit, you're in stage three of this fucking leukemia. You know, and it's like, it's so, it's not sometimes, most of the time, it's sometimes it's too late. And a lot of times it's too late. Or it's, or it's so far that you have all this chemotherapy and all this painful stuff that you have to go through to get rid of it. And, but in the future, the nanobots inside your body are going to be able to hopefully for maybe 50% or 70% of us be able to identify these things way more often early, early, early. And you want it to go, but think about, but how weird is it going to be to be like, yes, doctor, put nanobots in my bloodstream. Yes, doctor, put nanobots in my body. I'm cool with nanobots in my body. 
You know what I mean? That I that, that can read my insides and tell the computer what I'm what's going on, or or go to my phone and tell me, oh, precancerous, blah blah blah, or that my doctor can inspect. You know, things like that. So we will, we would a lot of us would call it crazy or un- unnerving. You wouldn't want to do it. Kind of like Elon Musk, you know, he wants to put the stuff in your brain or whatever. But we know Elon Musk isn't really an SJW. In fact, he's all over Twitter talking about like all this, you know, how people are crazy SJWs now. But he's also a futurist type of guy where he, you know, I mean, if he could live in a computer forever, he'd want to do those type of things, I think, or at least for a while. So like I'm and you guys, I'm pretty much in the middle with all this. I can see the bad thing of the of the new a new vaccine or or a new you know insertion of nanobots in your body, but I also see the great scientific plus that that could give us all right. So that could be cool. So it's it's one of those things where like I don't know the whoever deals with that first, you know, there's going to be crazy pushback and people thinking we're in some kind of you know dystopian control and and also will it be you know. Will they be able to use that against us by tracking everywhere you go, knowing your insides? Can they use it to poison you, to hurt you, to nullify you, to do something else to you? Can they control your organ organs? I, I don't know. Like I don't know. But interesting, interesting stuff, and I, I find it pretty friggin' interesting to be honest. Very, very interesting. You know, um, and I like I like the sound of it. You know, and I, I find it. Interesting. Um, I see Matt. I'm reading what Matt's saying right now. Oh yeah, I can see. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that, Matt. Yeah, I could see you getting it too, man. I could definitely see that. But yeah, um, if corrupted, uh, corrupted's gonna go on later on the Patreon. But you know, now I'm just kind of hanging out. I don't know shit though. What the fuck do I know anything about? You know, I don't know. I don't know a goddamn thing. But I think the uh, nanobot stuff is is pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, But, you know, with the way that I'm a little terrified of the people in control, all that shit, you know. The UFC event got stopped because of an eye poke, dude. I see that shit, dude. His eye is bleeding. I mean, that's it. It's going to be... It's going to be... This is over. I mean, this ain't happening. I'm looking at it right now, dude. He ain't a Wandy. I think this is done. I mean, it's it's not... I don't think it's going to be a DQ, though. Uh... It's going to be a no contest or like a, it's going to be no decision. So we're, yeah, you're, I think you're looking at a no decision. I don't think that this guy's going to get DQ'd for it. I think it's kind of like accidental or they can't figure it out really, you know? I'll probably have monetized this up at some point on the website or, or edited and put back, you know, we'll figure it out. You'll get an alert on Patreon, probably. I I learn daily, but the burn it away with a joint. What you? Oh, you smoking a lot? Uh, too sweet, too sweet smoking up. I don't blame you, man. Smoke up. I'm playing some Madden right now while I talk to you guys. I'm getting ready for a corrupted podcast. Uh, pity. What up, pity gaming? I actually played your donation earlier. In case you weren't here, I played your dono again because I felt friggin' bad about it. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, middleweight boxing great. He was uh, Daryl. Man, we loved. Uh, I'm telling. I, I was a. I'm. I'm. I was very similar with boxing. How I am with UFC. You guys know how I am with UFC. But I mean, I knew. You know, I watched a lot of Tyson fights. I lost. I, I watched a few Muhammad Ali fights, and I watched a few uh, Marvin Hagler fights. You know. But you know, in my life, I've only seen about 35 boxing f- matches. Probably 35 to 40 in my life, you know, or maybe events. I had probably seen multiple fights in those events, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, 30, 30 to 40 somewhere in there, you know? Um, and I'd probably say that half of those are something to do with Mike Tyson, you know? And, and some of them were old tapes of Muhammad Ali. I didn't see them live, obviously. And, and even Marvelous Marvin, Marvin Hagler, I think I only saw one, Marvin Hagler fight and I was three or four I was probably four or something like that I didn't even know it was happening I was in I was in the presence of one live but I don't rem- I don't know what happened I've only seen his fights recorded replayed or on a tape so which is funny because I've never seen a Marvin Hagler fight on anything but a tape 
probably, except for that one where I was like friggin' three. And I mean, good God, I wasn't even awake for that. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. I see that, man. Oh, you're a weirdo, bro. You're such a... Fu- <laughs> you're bizarre, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're you're funny. Um, Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Here's, here's the link, man. Big Fat Mrs. Piggy. I just wrote Big Fat Mrs. Piggy for no reason. I just thought that'd be funny. Um, sorry, I, pin- I pinned it up top there for you, John. There you go, John, you sexy beast. How are you tonight, John? You want to see the, the dong? Tommy Hooligan. What up, Tommy? Hagler, Gaddy Corrales. All my favorite boxes dead except Tyson. Guys, who bring the fight? I know, man. That's too bad. I- again, like I said, I'm a, no- I'm a bit of a casual novice. You know, I don't know enough. You know, I just watched enough. I just watched um, other than Hagler, Tyson, Muhammad Ali, a couple of Vander Holyfield fights, and um, there's been a few other May- Merriweather. You know those people, but it, I mean, dude, nothing, nothing was like a Tyson fight for me. I mean, I'm sure there were other there were other boxing legends in the 70s and 80s that killed it, and back in the day too. But you know, boxing really reached its pinnacle in the what 60s, 70s, and 80s. I guess, or maybe the eight, 70s and 80s. I don't know. I feel like it was the 70s and 80s because like guys got bigger and stronger and harder and faster and it was about knockouts at some points. It just became exciting in, in that time more than ever. You know, in, 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 the, in, the, in the mid-90s and up, it kind of started dying. And certainly in the 2000s and beyond, it just became more and more of a... More sport-like, you know what I mean? It was more vicious at some point, you know? And I know it is, a, it's always been a sport, always will be a sport, but you know the deal. It's um, it's one of those things, but Floyd Money Mayweather was, I just, I respect the defensive post fighting, posture, skill, whatever you want to call it, but man, there was nothing like those old f- fights. Yeah, Lennox Lewis, yeah, I, I saw a couple of his fights, you're right. How did Boston College doing basketball? Is that the team you cheer for? I mean, I don't, I don't really watch college sports almost at all. But yeah, when I was younger and a kid, really younger, I would sometimes I'd flip on the BC Eagles, um, football or basketball. But it was still pretty rare, you know, that I would, you know, that I would flip that stuff on. It was still pretty rare that I'd, I'd hit that stuff up, you know. What's up, Picharo? 1970s to mid 1990s were golden era boxing. Yeah, that see, see, Daryl. That's I. I don't remember how old you are, Daryl, but it's definitely those. Um, definitely those years, no doubt about it. I mean, you could. I remember being a kid and just boxing seemed like such a big event, and now it's just so ghosted. You know, it's so. I don't know, man. It's all UFC now. But even UFC doesn't have the heights that boxing had. It was like, you know, like when you get a guy like, like when you had Ronda Rousey in her heyday and you had, uh, you know, uh, what's his face? What's the Irish guy? God damn it. What's wrong with me? You know what I mean? You know the guy. Why can't I think of him? What's wrong with me? When you get him, um, Colin, uh, whatever, you know, I can't fucking speak. I'm having an probably a heart attack or something um it would be uh you know uh it was pretty it got up to to, to to top heights you know but um i don't think that uh i don't think the ufc you know i don't know yeah, 43, Daryl. That that makes sense. That's right, because that's why you remember that more than a lot of other people do. You know what I'm saying? It's very strange. I get it, though. Boxing needs gimmicks, exploding ring, barbed wire ropes. Yeah, I was happy about getting Cam Newton last year, but now I'm not happy about keeping him, you know, to be honest. So that's not really happy about that. Did you just donate to Joe? Did you just donate to Joe? Thank you for the donation. And because you donated... Conor McGregor, there you go. I'm going to feast myself in the bunghole. 
<laughs> Drive me nuts. <laughs> Multiple family syndrome tipped three dollars. Joe, I really miss Leah being on the shows like Monetize This and Occasionally Corrupted or some other Patreon show. Could you please ask her if maybe at some point she could share her thoughts on WandaVision since the season is finally over? Would love that. Okay. I'll ask JB if it's okay. Uh, thank you, Multiple Family Syndrome. Really appreciate that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I, I, yeah, I've asked her several times. I don't, she's, she loves WandaVision. She definitely loves WandaVision. But I doubt, I doubt she would, uh, I doubt she'll do that. I've asked her about that several times. I don't think she'll do it. Thank you, multiple family syndrome. That's a weird. Multiple family. Is that like when your wife leaves you and then you have another, you, then you get a new girlfriend and then you have kids with that person and then you don't really know who you are or what you are because you've got three different families or two different families going on? Is that what that is? Multiple family syndrome. Is that That's got to be what it is, right? That's funny. Yeah, I'd ask her, but uh, I don't think we're going to get anywhere with that. I don't think so. The Chicago Bears are looking for a QB. Hopefully, we get someone good. Well, see, I was hoping that they, the Patri I was hoping that the Patriots would get Garoppolo. You know, I know that that may seem weird, but I was like, man, I hope the Patriots go out and get Jimmy Garoppolo, get him back. You know, we did the right thing by getting rid of him at first because. We won a Super Bowl after we got rid of him, you know, so getting rid of Jimmy Garoppolo ended up being great, you know, it was cool. We literally won a Super Bowl, so cool, they're, they're, we're good to go. But now that Brady's gone, now it's like, man, if we could get him back, that'd be nice because we don't have another younger guy, and he was at least a 7 out of 10, you know, he was at least a 7 out of 10, And but then again, you know, if we get him, then the front line might be exposed again, and then you'll wish you had... um. Oh God, I dude, I'm I I must be unsharp right now because I can't remember names. Um, who's our quarterback now? Shit, Cam Newton. Cam Newton. So then you're like, Cam Newton's good for running, so it'd be better to have a running quarterback than a quarterback who can't run because if you can't run, you know we're in trouble. By the way, guys, I'm shooting for 69 likes tonight. I'm shooting for 69 freaking likes tonight. So let's make that happen because I ain't got the crayon tonight. I have no crayon, no Cronin crayon tonight. I don't have it. So instead, I'm drinking this Red Bull shit, all right, which could give me wings, and then I'm going to fly and explode through the ceiling and fucking go into the atmosphere, and then I'll get hit by an oncoming plane. Then I'll come crashing back down through the roof and and go through all the floors, boom, 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 until I hit the basement floor, and then my family stands over my dead carcass and wonders what happened to Daddy. You're going to think I jumped. I didn't do it. I got hit by a freaking airliner is what happened. Hey, Joe, right. to let you know I am Mexican. Why is it bad to play, you know, with a Mexican? Because they will steal of the green cards. Why did the oh. cat cross the road? To escape JD. <laughs> Holy shit, Pacharo. Man, that's... Uh... That's rough, Pacharo. You're Mexican? What, I said Hispanic, so that was a problem? That's okay if you're Mexican. Wait, are you in Mexico, though? Because they don't like they, they don't like that in America now. They don't like you saying Mexican. That's why I wasn't saying Mexican. Because they don't like me saying Mexican anymore. They want me saying, you know, either they want me saying Hispanic is what it is. So I just say Hispanic because that's what they want. Otherwise, yeah. they get they're really angry with you. Oh, oh shit, pity gang. What if the turkeys hate us? What if they hate us? What if they killed us and ate our children? What if the turkeys ate us? What if they filleted us? If the turkeys ate us, if they had to hate us, well, Thanksgiving was a little bit different. Instead, the turkey ate us. They gobbled us apart But first they'd eat our nuts And then they'd eat our butts Go ahead, turkeys ate us What if, what if What if the turkeys ate us
Oh man, it feels good to hear this song again. Alex O'Donnell became a member. Thank you, Alex O'Donnell, for upgrading. Instead of mashed potatoes, instead the turkeys ate us. I've had enough tired of being the nice guy. Fuck everyone. I've been faced my whole career in this community. Time for a heel turn. Fuck the wheel, fuck Jesse, fuck everyone, haha. <laughs> Pai Tai Gang Bebe. Oh my god, Pity Gang. Pity Gang is coming out and saving the shows, man. I gotta be honest. Pity Gang, thank you, man, dude. That's so nice of you, bro. You dropped $200 and more the other night. You became a $25 producer. And now he's dropping a $29. Uh, drop dude thank you very much ma'am it's always like when we're down and when i'm down it's like somebody shows up to like wrap me wrap their arms around me and carry me into the fucking sky or something i don't know man it's really that sounds super homoerotic but pity gang man thank you for that that's crazy dude one year three months alex o'donnell and he upgraded his membership thank you brother i um hope to have a membership stream this week i think i said that two weeks ago i didn't do it I really do hope to have a membership stream. You know what it is? I Sometimes I don't like them because like people get mad. They're like, I'm not a member. I can't chat. What the fuck? But it's like, dude, you got to do a membership stream once in a while. You know what I mean? To For the people that are members. So, you know, we're going to have to do one coming up here, though. We got we to gotta do one, man. And then we get special. It's easy for people to get their questions in and all that other bullshit. It's a good time to me. Willie. What did you say about Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman from Justin League. I liked Wonder Woman's movie, her first one. I, I kind of. It was a little weird, but the second one really just went fucking full stupid. I couldn't even, I couldn't deal with the second Wonder Woman movie. I was like, no. It just, I, it's, I don't know. I thought the first one was passable. There, there was just some key things in it that made me go like, oh, no. But. When it came to the second Wonder Woman, it was just like, like they really just threw that crap around. You know, hey, Daryl, do you know where I did the Ryback rap? Because I recorded it twice to upload it on Patreon. And each time, I, I guess I deleted the audio recording and didn't even upload it. Can you, you know, do you remember where it is? Because I'm going to have to re-record it again and then do some editing on it. Like, you know, some audio stuff on it. Thank you, Pity. That's nice of you, bro. I don't even know where it is. I don't remember which show. It's a couple of weeks ago, I think, now. The second one was terrible, says Matt Rossmeyer. Yeah, you can see that the agenda playing into it a lot more. You know, all the movies are just getting ruined, dude. I mean, you got to hope that your franchise, whatever franchise you like, is either under the radar or isn't that valuable. Because they'll just take it and exploit it for their own, like, whatever. You know, look at Star Trek, Star Wars. I mean, you name it. Even when you get a good Star Wars, when you get the Mandalorian, you literally have the, the movie studio sabotaging the show because they hired an outside guy, John Favreau, to work on the fucking thing. And literally Kathleen Kennedy is jealous that her fucking Star Wars stuff sucks ass and dick. And so she is like, oh, I'm going to shit on, I'm going to get your stars canceled Dude, she started that campaign to get uh, Carano canceled, you know? It's all about being butthurt that she made shit. And it's like, dude, it never ends. If their stuff sucks, they're going to attack the stuff that is good. And if, if they get a hold of the stuff that's good, they're going to make it suck. So there's no fucking way to win in that scenario. And I don't think a lot of the Disney execs even know about this stuff or what goes on. Or even understands this fucking cancel culture warfare that's going on kathleen kennedy's like i hope john favreau fucking fails so i can be in charge of everything again you know no i played it on 305 pity gang but i also that's not where it's from it's actually from a raw review or something like that if you're talking about that it's at the very beginning of monetize this 305 yeah oh really well, but the only, but but Daryl, I played it originally on a different episode, so I wanted to get the raw file from the original show I played it on, right? Because I don't think that's the original file. If I could get the original file, that'd be better. Did you just donate to Joe? Did you just donate to Joe? 
Oh Thank shit! You for the donation. Oh shit! But because you donated. Whoa! I'm going to feast myself. The longest donator ever is here. <laughs> longest listener and friend, JD Venom. Just got here. What's going on, Joe? Can't wait for corrupted tonight. In other news, Joe are into any crypto like Doge, Bitcoin, Cardano. These coins are blowing up and gonna make me nigger rich. We should play Xbox again soon. COD Apex Legends PUBG. Ah, uh, yeah, man, I miss those days. Uh, maybe, um, you know, I I'm really bad. I'm not very good at Call of Duty, as you know, but Apex Legends, I am terrible at. Now, I'm down with PUBG. PUBG, I'm down with that. Call of Duty, I'm even, I'm game for a little Call of Duty, too. But I'll tell you what, man. I don't know what it is about Apex Legends, but I am fucking terrible at that fucking game. Apex Legends, I am like a useless lump of shit in Apex Legends. JD Venom. Thank you, JD Venom. Much appreciated, dude. That's crazy. Let's have a little Red Balls for JD Venom. A little bit of taste of Red Balls. You want some Red Balls? and get you fucked up. Um, yeah, I got Bitcoin. Let me go take a look at my Bitcoin. I don't know. I'll tell you what it is right now. Hold on a minute. I'm looking down at my Bitcoin, brother. I'm looking down at my Bitcoin. Hey, you want to see my Bitcoin? Oh, fuck. That's not Bitcoin. That's some other app. Fuck. I clicked on the wrong thing. You're not my son. I was trying to do uh, Harold, uh, Bruce, uh, what's his name? Harrison Ford. Get off my boat. I didn't kill my wife. I can't do it. I can't do him. I really I can't do Harrison Ford, no. Okay. So I spent... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. My crypto's up, I guess. I got... I got $800, $800 in crypto. I don't know. I put 200 in. I got 800 now. So I think that's pretty good, I guess. It's not crazy, though. It's... No, it's nothing that's going to do any, you know, it's just an extra, it's like a backup in case I, I, I can't make a mortgage payment. If I can't make my mortgage payment, then like, I guess I can go, oh my God, empty the crypto, sell the crypto. I don't even know if it works that way. I don't even know if I can just sell it all. I don't even understand if that works like that. Like, oh, I'll just sell all my crypto. But I don't know. It's it's like, it's like up to, maybe it's 900, 8, 889. I guess it's almost 900. No, it's something. I mean, that's something, but you know, it's nothing that's. You know, I mean, that stock that I had the other day was way better. Apex goaded. What up, giant killer? What are you saying about being sloppy? Edwards got sloppy. Yeah, dude, that was weird. And all, and dude, that the no contest. I mean, what are you gonna do, man? He got poked in the eye. You know, I mean, but what a mess, man. Yo, villain uh, now has the Jake DeMarco icon. Look at that. When you guys become a member, you get all kinds of fucked up weird icons, man. When you become a member after months and months and months, you get a new icon every couple months. And looks like the villain has unlocked Jake DeMarco by the pool. That's right. This is the Jake DeMarco by the pool icon. One of my favorites because I know that Jake DeMarco pees the pool. He admitted to that not that long ago. That's a thing that Jake DeMarco does. He feels the need to have to go in the pool and you're in the pool with him. Listen, Jake DeMarco, he just goes. He just drops it. He goes, you know what? Psss. And if you got one of those pools with the with the chemical in it that identifies who pissed the pool, well, you got yourself a pool pisser right there. Pool pisser Jake DeMarco. Exposed right here. You know, last night Jake DeMarco had to watch three children. The guy's in sufferable pain. He comes on the show, throws up on the show. He's in a lot of pain. He's feeling terrible. He's going to have surgery soon, Jake is. He's going to have a big surgery, man. I, well, I think it's a big surgery. And then, um, meanwhile, the guy's babysitting three kids. Like, how is that good for the, you know? Can someone help this guy out and babysit the kids for him? I mean, what the fuck, bro? The guy's in fucking pain. Feeling terrible. Rise of Skywalker was terrible. Literally had to shut it off. Well, Luke Rojas, I mean, come on, man. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, they had to clean up the shit that Ryan Johnson did. 
and that's all. And I blame JJ in the movie studio, mostly the movie studio, because they should have never put been in the position of, hey, I've got an idea for a story to, to start the Star Wars series up. Cool. What's the idea for the next one? I don't know. Let some other person do it. Oh, good idea. <laughs> it's like, you know, like, come on, man. That was the worst fucking idea ever and really stupid. Beersy's in the house. What up, Beersy? Can't believe Georgia Tech. Wait a minute. Can't believe Georgia Tech or championship? What? How many kids does Joe does Jake have? He has one. Why? You wanna you looking for some kids? I got three. I'll part with one of them for the right price. Cause the black market ain't giving me a good enough deal on on <laughs> fucking weird. Um Love me some Big Daddy Jake. Well, who doesn't love Big Daddy Jake? Well, let me find this song and see if it's good enough, Daryl. I mean, I really think that it was on AEW or something like that where I played it for the first time and it was like the fire. Right. Okay, but you know what? I mean, I guess in the interest of time, let's play the Ryback song. Here it is for you by popular request. Here you go. Right now. There it is. Come let's on, go. Do it. I swear to God, you're going to fucking let's ruin do it. the day. That you talked about me, Joe Cronin. No, I won't. And I'm going to seriously fucking crush your skull. Let's go. Do you understand me? Uh. Yeah. What's that? What's that? It's the right back rap. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Who's that? Yo, it's the right back rap. Yeah. What's that? Yo, who's that? What's that? Yo, it's the Ryback Rap What's that? Get What's out that? the way You're probably gay Ryback Rap How about that? Ryback Rap I push your head into the mat and it goes flat You're not ready for this shell shock And you got a tiny cock It's the Ryback <laughs> Rap Ryback Rap I'm not talking crap so how about that? I get the right back rap, right back rap. So top talking shit, you're full of crap. Finish it, finish this, finish it. You're a bitch, you're a bitch. Yo, yo, it's the right back rap. You talking crap? Go to Amazon and buy my stash. The Ryback Rap. I'm gonna crush your skull in a pit of spikes. It's the Ryback Rap. It's the Ryback Rap. It's the Ryback Rap. Hey, Pat Buck, I'm gonna fuck you up. It's the Ryback Rap. Don't talk back. If you do, yeah, your head will go splat. It's the right back rap. Finish it, shell shock. Super man is what women call my dick. <laughs> in the bedroom, it is large and in short. Yeah, it's the right back rap. It's the right back rap. I'm coming for that ass. Yeah, so join my fitness class. It's the right back rap. It's the right back rap. Finish it. Hey, Joe Cronin, I'm not even fucking done with you. I'm gonna fuck you up, Joe Cronin. Hey. Like to see you do it right back. What's up, everybody? It's monetize this 305, and I got me and me and Jesse. Yeah, see, so like, I I think there's an uh, uh I think there's me playing that song uh, when I did that song live and I made that all up live. That's on the air somewhere, and I don't remember where that is. So if anybody remembers where that is, I'd like to know because I want to capture the original audio, uh, and I don't 100% remember where it is fully. I think it's like AEW review. I think. But I can't be sure. 
But tonight on Corrupted, we'll, uh, we'll answer a lot of questions tonight on Corrupted. There's a lot to talk about tonight on Corrupted. A lot to talk about on Corrupted. We're going to have to go over some audio. You know, we're going to have to go over some audio, some shit talk and some audio that I heard. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to review it. We might have to review some of it. Um, I did attack uh, Miro, Penelope Ford, and Jim Cornette earlier because I just think they're all babies. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to attack everybody now that I think about it. You know what I mean? Like, fuck them all. Let's just go after all of them, you know? And I think that that was... And I think I've got a new show coming where I'm going to be really going in on on anything. You know, and especially Penelope Ford and Miro and Jim Cornette after what they did earlier. I think there's a lot more that I could be said about that. After I read the chain of stuff that was going down on the Twitter, there's so much more stuff that could be said, man, that, that really could have been said. And I just didn't know that it went that deep. And if I knew that it went that deep, I would have gone into that a little bit more. I asked my boss for a raise, he said maybe, so I told him I was going to call immigration to come put his glass-cutting friends in the back of a 18-wheeler to die and their children hoard out. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's a great idea. AJ Adams, that's a great idea. Be like, yo, listen, you better give me a raise or I'm calling fucking immigration. <laughs> that's a great idea, dude. That's not a bad idea. That is a goddamn good idea, AJ Adams. You are fucking top-notch, brother. What a great idea. Oh, yeah? You're not going to give me a raise? Well, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to call immigration on you. How about that? Yep, I'm calling immigration. Then he's like, wait a minute. Maybe I could give you that extra dollar twenty-five. You know, maybe I could give you that extra dollar. Uh, come back here again. Don't do that. You're a sick person, AJ Adams. See what I mean, man? Now, maybe that's the... Aren't you half white? So maybe that's the the half white side of you or whatever, right? Am I going to go after Jade Cargill? Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah, J, so we asked... Uh, I, a lot of people wanted to get Jade Cargill on the show, and I did. I reached out to all the areas, all the places, and I just want to report that uh, uh, no thank you. So uh, I, as I reported earlier... Reached out to Jade, AEW podcast. We were denied. Thank you for your interest in having her on the show. So, no. You guys can reach out. You guys want to reach out and uh, try to get people, you know, go for it, you know. Remember when um when uh, Joey Janela said he was going to come on? Like, he said he'd come on. Remember that? He was like, oh, I'm going to come on. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't come on. You remember that? Same sort of thing. Right? He, he just basically was like, I'll just pretend like I'm coming on and then never come on. Guy never came on. Remember Joey Janela? Nobody held him to the fire, huh? Remember he said he would definitely come on? No Joey Janela. Back down Janela. He proved to back down again. The guy backed down from a fight with Enzo. Backed down from so many other things. Even backed down from this show that he said he'd be on. After he followed me on Twitter and he acted nice to all of us and everybody. Nah, man. He backed down, full back down Janela again, did Joey Janela. Fucking Joey Janela. I think everybody should message him and say, we didn't forget Joey. We didn't forget Joey, boy. We didn't forget Janela. You fuck, you back down bastard. All right, nope, the fucking elephant never forgets, all right? We never forgot, Joey. We never forgot. We never forgot. I should have told him I was part of Chad. That's a great point. Yeah, and then his career took a dive right afterwards. I think we ruined Joey Janela's career. Hashtag Joe ruined your career. I think I, I ruined... I ruined... Jo I'm going to tweet that. I ruined Joey Janela's career. He is in full back down mode now. I tweeted it out. You know what? Fuck him. You know what I mean? I was wicked nice. He was nice to us, but you know what? Not even a fuck ever. Like, I mean, dude, I, I hit him up like every week to come on the show. Never. Can you imagine? You guys know how all the people always freak out on me because I don't give them enough attention. I don't give people enough attention on monetize this, or I don't give people enough attention here or there or the other place. And they start freaking out on me and they like lose their mind. Oh my God, Joe doesn't pay enough attention to me. I'm going to fucking talk shit about him now. You know that stuff? Dude, 
Joey Janela never came on once. That's all I wanted. At least Joe talks to you like at least weekly. You know, at least Joey jo- Joey Cronin here talks to you weekly. You know what I mean? But Jesus. These people that uh get mad at me because I won't spend 3 hours a day talking to them on Skype or something. You you know what I mean? It's like, can you imagine? Joey Janela said he would come on a year, over a year ago. It's been a year. And I pestered him, too. I said, dude, what's up? Yeah, hit me up again tomorrow. Yeah, hit me up. Hit me. Please hit me up. Oh, my God, please hit me up. And I and I did that to him. And, I, you know, I never, you know, and he was cool. And I told him, listen, we're all just joking around and stuff like that. But I'm not joking around about this. He fucking backed down, bro. That's not a joke. He really did it. He really said multiple times he was coming on the show and then didn't. You know, that's not butthurt. You literally lied to the audience. L- lied to me, lied to the audience. I mean, but hey, in the end, I mean, I, I don't, bl- I still don't even blame him that much, man. I mean, listen, I'm just some YouTube show, whatever the hell. But um, I did tweet out that I ruined his career. I'm going to take credit for that. Okay. I think I should take, I think I should take credit for that. I'm glad that I did. And I want to thank some of the people that donated tonight. Uh, the Villain, Picharo, Pity Gang, J.D. Venom, and A.J. Adams. Man, you guys have been beasts all night. But keep them coming in the chat, and we'll figure out. We'll answer some more questions before we go into Patreon. To Patreon tonight on Corrupted. The questions are up there. So if you got something you want defined and answered, drop it on the Patreon Q&A area, and uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I don't even, I don't even know what's going to happen tonight on... Um, and I just froze my screen, so trying to put the uh, text up, I just froze my screen. So, you know, we'll just sit here frozen like this. Um, I don't even know what's going to happen tonight on uh, Corrupted. I'm not even sure exactly what's going to happen. You know what I mean? But I know that it's probably going to ruffle some feathers, potentially. I don't 100% know that. Or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just be completely boring. It could just be me just sitting there. Un- 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 uncorrupted tonight. I'm not 100% sure about that. What up, Ray Rods? How you doing, man? I just think that no contest, man. I mean, what are you going to do? You get poked in the eye. It's the same thing when someone gets hit in the nuts by accident, you know? A Wandy probably fucking flipped out at home, though. Wandy probably went, bah! and he just, like, lost his goddamn mind. Wandy's breaking shit and throwing shit throughout his house. He's just snapping, losing his mind, you know? Like beating one of his pet deers. Have you seen that? He's got like pet deers. Wandy has pet freaking deers or something like that. Uh, where, where did deer? Where do you get a deer just straddling, wandering into your house, like in the middle of like Abu Dhabi? You know, like I mean, maybe it's a stereotype, but here we think of like, well, like a camel would walk by or something like that, or like a dust wheat, or like a, you know, you have a big friggin' like sandstorm or something like that, but nobody expects. Bambi to come strolling in. You know, that's a little strange. I would never have expected Bambi to be showing up at this guy's house. Not in a million freaking years. WandaVision started interesting, but ended in disappointing, boring, typical Marvin sh- uh, Marvel schlock. Really? Hmm. That's too bad. I, I know I haven't seen any of it. I haven't seen any of it yet, so. I know that Leah, like, loved it or whatever. But uh, I haven't seen any of it yet. I was thinking about, uh, pot- yeah, I see I see your message. Uh, I had to go on my phone to look at it because I'm frozen here. Um, What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Did you really get this, Casey? Casey is raw, bought a new arcade one up. Oh my god, dude, you bought like five of these. Did you buy all these? Jesus Christ, I can't even show it on stream because I froze my shit. Wow, Casey bought like 50 freaking arcades. Holy crap, dude. You're crazy. You're crazy. That's crazy, man. We'll have to talk about that on Corrupted tonight. I'll talk about how you uh, bought a bunch of arcade machines. On Corrupted tonight, that is, that, man, you're insane. <laughs> Pity gang. Yo, Brian, Brian, thanks for becoming a $25 producer. Uh, John Nicholson, thank you for becoming uh, a $2 patron, man. What's going on? And Randy Viper for becoming a VIP. 
and D King. Alyssa, thank you both uh, for being on there too. And William Bradford, I don't even know if that's his real name, but William Bradford just sounds like a made up name. Now he's probably listening. He's like, that's my freaking name, dude. That's my fucking name. What the fuck? But no, uh, William Bradford, thank you. William Brad. Isn't that an actor or somebody? But no, he's, I'm sure it's his real name. It's just, thank you, man, for being a $10 VIP patron. You'll get all the shit. Plus, you'll get the, you should get the gold VIP uh, thing on uh, Discord. If you don't have the Discord gold VIP in your $10 or more, please message the shit out of me and I'll try to fix it for you. Chances are it didn't work. You know what I mean? Um, potentially. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know if I saw yours. Clocks do go ahead. Yeah, yeah. We're screwed tonight, man. Clocks are... I mean, on the good side of things, you know, we're going to get those longer days. That's really good. But I'm going to be jacked up on this weekend. And the worst thing is I have to work early on Monday. You know, and I worked all day Friday. I worked an entire shift Friday. Then came home and did the monetize this thing. And it's like, oh, my God, dude. I was dead on monetize this because of it. And Monday, I'm I'm not looking forward to Monday. I feel like I'm going to be really sleep deprived because the change in clocks just, I don't know, it always ruins me. But maybe it's just a mental thing. You know, maybe it's a mental thing because we're thinking about it. Why, you know, why are we thinking about it like that? You know, so I don't know. But I, I feel like Monday, I'm going to be happy birthday to my mom, man. She's not listening, obviously, but happy birthday to her, man. 70 years old, my mom today, and it was nice to see her and... She she came in, hung out, and that was nice. I, I feel bad for my mom that we didn't have a big party thing. It's like 70, man. That's I mean, so we're going to do something, I think, a little bit later when it's nicer out. Sort of celebrate 70th with her. Have a big party. Have it outside if we have to. Um, Because I want her to have that. You know, I want to remind you you're fucking 70 like seven times. <laughs> it's crazy. Shit bomb. Yo, Joe, please show my second to newest post on Instagram. This is not WWE or AU clip, so you're good. Fuck. Jake, Big Daddy, Cool, DeMarco, what's up, my man? What is up, baby? Yo, Botch Club, listen, I can't show anything because my screen is frozen. It sucks. Fuck, man. I'll show it tomorrow on the Raw review, though. I promise you that. Listen, guys, I don't know what he's talking about, so you got to go check it out tonight. Later on, before Corrupted starts... Go give Botch Club some love, man. He's got he listen, he donates so much money to the show. He has fucking sick content. You you would sub to him anyway on Instagram and TikTok. If you're on TikTok, I doubt most of you are on there, but on Instagram at least, you guys will follow that account. Trust me. It's fucking hilarious. It's fire, it's funny, it's great. The guy's a wonderful guy. He puts a lot of work into editing these videos. Please go give Botch Club some love and, and spam Joe Cronin on his latest video. Spam Joe Cronin uh, and then like and heart it or whatever they do on there and um, give him some love, man. And then I'm going to go check it out after. But right now my screen is frozen because I my screen froze on this page. I'd like to be switching screens and doing all these things, but I can't right now. So I can't see when I do anything, it makes this noise. It's errored out. The only way to fix that is to shut down uh, my broadcast real quickly and then restart it, and that will fuck everything up. So maybe in a bit I'll do that for a few, but, uh, you know. Oh, Daryl fucking Sith Negan coming to our uh, goddamn rescue with uh, the exact timestamp of the Ryback rap song. Thank you, uh, Daryl. I just marked that down in notepad. And so I will... Uh, I just threw a touchdown, by the way. Touchdown in my Madden game that you guys would be watching if I was able to switch screens and uh, my thing hadn't errored out. So I'll get that Ryback wrap uploaded hopefully tonight to Patreon. There was something else somebody wanted, though. Oh, yeah, it was the, the I think it was the Bullfrog DMX song from the other night. I guess I can get that up, too. I don't think that one's very good at all, but, you know, if a couple people liked it, I mean, it doesn't hurt to put it up, I guess, right? But I, I didn't think that was particularly that good. I thought it was, like, some good, and then some was just... I was too focused on trying to do the DMX voice. I couldn't get it. And so I was searching, doing that, and then trying to think of words at the same time. It was just really kind of hard to do that. I don't know. At least that's what I think it was. Maybe I just needed a couple more beers. Speaking of beers, shout out to Beersy and Bird and uh, Nikki J, the Weed God. What up to the Weed God, brother? Always the Beast is the Weed God. I can't believe my fucking screen froze. 
Craig, I don't give a fuck what time it is. I'm 53 today. Getting old sucks. Dead donkey dick. Yeah, it does. I mean, I'm 36 and I feel like I'm go. I feel like I'm already getting to be 40 and like, you know, like my hair is starting to finally go like rapidly. It's like, oh, I'm going to be full on bald soon. That's weird. Um, but, uh, yeah, that doesn't, you know, I, I wear a hat every day anyway, so it kind of doesn't really matter anymore, but it's just weird, to, you know, and I know 36 is way younger now compared to 53, but even 53, it's like, it's all about being young at heart. You know, if you're young at heart, you can do anything. I feel like you can, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. You don't, you're not like going to be the, the sexy guy at the party anymore, but you know, if you're young at heart, you can have so who said the end had a lot of fun. Night. What's up, brother? What up, C-Man? Thanks for the $3, C-Man. C-Man. Um, I think Jesse did like three times. Drew Fossa was on. Drew Fossa's black, though. He said it like seven times, but he's he's a black guy. So he gets he doesn't get in trouble, right, by the, by the algorithm. It like knows, right? I think Jesse said it like several times. Uh, Jesse was out of his mind. I don't know. He was a. Uh, he was just having a good birthday party. You know that's all. He was having a, a, a crazy birthday party. <laughs> Going crazy, yo. Um, will I make the Ryback rapid donation? Well, I mean it's too long, right? To, I don't know where. Where where we would cut it to put the song on the donation? You know that's the one thing. You know, I don't know where it would, uh, yeah, I don't know where I would cut it to, to make it into one, you know, maybe, I mean, maybe I could, but God damn, it's hard to breathe. Could be, could be my, um, I don't know. Maybe I got a fucking big tumor in me or something. We can only hope that I have a big tumor living inside of my body, eating me out from in the inside. It's stage four, everybody. I have to go now. Enjoy the past shows. And then I can be one of those YouTuber people who documents his whole, like, recover, like, you know, getting treatments and stuff like that. Like Tom Green when he had that testicle taken. But it will be for, like, fourth stage pancreas or whatever and then um and then in, and then i can be in the hospital making all the videos about i'm feeling better man i had my family here today and we're on <laughs> i'm on the fourth treatment and i'm and i'm like i'm like just like shaking and then like i finally pass away and then leah has to make a video like thanks everyone for all the support you gave and we'll keep this channel up as the memorial to, to dan he was such a good guy in real life. On the show, he was always crazy and stuff. But in real life, he loved everybody and his kids so much. And he was successful here. And he always had a job for since he was 14. He always worked. Or he always had a job when he was taking care of his kids. And he would work three jobs if he had to to take care of us. And um, he was just a great dad. And... He was a tough person sometimes to deal with. And he certainly was always trying to be funny. But um, he was great while it lasted. And now I'm dating a guy named Chad. And Chad fucks my pussy hole in. And all the children love Chad more than Dan. But that doesn't matter. What matters is the time we had with him. He was a sweet man. And even though he was loud and obnoxious and clearly had ADD and never graduated high school and was kind of a failure, fuck. Um, the important thing is I tell the kids he got a associate's degree. And that he... <laughs> we can only hope that he's in a better place now. He fought until the last day of cancer, ate away at his pancreas and his organs and stomach. But thank God we had the time we had with him. With his alcoholism in the years of 2006, 7, 8, and 9, it's amazing he even lived to be around this long. 
and with his multiple failures and jobs that he would lose and be fired from, his longest lasting job was YouTube. And that's, and he did that all on his own. He created his own thing. And now he's creating his own thing in hell, in heaven. In heaven, he's creating his own thing. And I think that many of the people in hell got a wake-up call. Heaven, I mean. Many of the people in heaven got a wake-up call when Dan arrived in the pearly gates. Certainly, I don't even believe in heaven, actually. I think you just die when you go in the dirt. So I'm just saying this to make the kids comfortable if they ever, I mean, hear this. In fact, I'll cut this whole part. May he, I love, good rest him in peace there, Dan. Whew. Leah doesn't sound anything like that. That's true. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I don't know why I did a gay voice for my wife. Um, let me tell you something, Beersy. Beersy, it's not letting you become a patron? What's that about? Really? That doesn't make any sense. Um, well, this party died. I need to add at least 15 years of smoking to my voice. Let me tell you something. I love Joe. He was a great guy. And then he fucked my brains out. And then he fucked my brains out. That's what he did. He fucked my brains out. I don't even know how to do that, man. That's like uh, Princess Leia. Or what's her name's voice? You know what I mean? What Carrie, Carrie, whatever. Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher ended up getting the smoke man voice, right? I married the Han Solo. He fucked my asshole open. I don't know, bro. It was weird. That's spot on Leah right there. Beely's been listening since 16. Now he's turning 21. That's crazy. Just become an auto payer on Patreon, says Daryl Stoltz. I don't know. That's weird. Marge's sister from The Simpsons. You're right. That's what maybe Leah will go on to sound like Marge's sister. Fuck me. Fuck. Ugh. Ugh. Imagine that. I can't imagine that, man. I can't imagine her sounding like that. She doesn't sound like that. Oh, oh, fuck me. Fuck my hole. And... No, I don't know, man. I don't think that's going to happen. But I will... Um... <laughs> Very strange, man. <laughs> I don't think she'll sound like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you tonight for my show on Patreon, The Corrupted Podcast, live on Patreon tonight. Become a patron. For $1, you can hear the show tonight. For $2, you can hear the show and get audio and get all the songs I ever do. For $5, you become a $5 shit bum fuck, and you get, and you get a whole bunch of shit then. But if you become a $10 patron... You get the VIP shit. And then if you really want to go fucking buzzer, you can become a $25 producer. And if I could and my screen wasn't frozen, I'd be putting up the 25 producers right now. But I can't because my fucking screen is frozen because life sucks. But that's okay. If you missed this show, go back to the beginning and watch it from the beginning because we played some funny things. I was in full hype mode. And we got a little bit naughty in the bathroom, if you know what I mean. But I am going to read the $25 producers. Shout out to Big Daddy Skittles, Takatsu Todd, Alan Stober, Useless Robbie, D. Crisp, Shell, Luis Antonio Alejandro, J Man from KC, Colonel Stutters, Jerome Spicer, Kevin Murphy, Tony from My Rear, Cold Brew Crew, June Bug, Dwayne Crenshaw, Six, Joseph Light, CJ, Sith Negan, my son champion, Nikki J, Garguts, ADTR, Gordon Bombay, talk to me nice, Drew Bar, Matt Ross Meyer, Jason Tar, The Bear, 13, 14, 22, 55, 
Starscream and JD Venom. I think I already shouted JD Venom out potentially. Uh, might have. Uh, I think I got that. Thank you guys for being producers, man. And shout out to Pity Gang, the most newest producer. And the corrupted questions are up right now. I see there's 19 questions so far. So people are really going to town. We'll see you guys live for that. Will Jesse be alive? <laughs> we'll see you tonight for Corrupted Podcast. I'm going to go pee my pants and uh, take a shot of adrenaline and uh, pull out some liquor. See you guys then. Shout out to the top donator tonight. It ended up being our friend, our buddy, our pal. Shay D. Venom. Salute you. I'm coming up in a minute. I just finished. I just finished my stream. I'm coming up in a minute. All right. I'll be there in a second. All right. Um, I moved the big one downstairs, and then I pulled the uh, I pulled the chair up for you. So the chair's out now. So there you go. Um, I can't think of anything else to say about it. I don't know. I think I got I cleaned up everything. Anyway, whatever. I'll stop recording this message so you can just fucking whatever. I'll see you in a few minutes. Anyway, that's my point. But I gotta do corrupted in a little bit. Live on Patreon, so I gotta come back down. So. Alright, I'll see you then. Later. Fucking stupid fucking.
We all still live, brother. the fuck is messaging me? Fucking ruined the whole fucking thing for me. Who the fuck is... Drew, what the fuck, man, dude? Yeah, bro, I get it. You, Dude, fucking stop messaging me. I can fucking see you're messaging me. You don't need to fucking send me 17 messages in a row, dude. What the fuck, man? All I hear is bleh, 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 vibrating, dude. I'm trying to, I'm getting something to fucking eat. I just finished my live stream, dude. It's okay, man. We're going to be fucking, we're going to get to fucking, we'll talk about all this shit later, all right, dude? We're not going to fucking, you know what the message be like 17 times, man? Did that even send? Did that fucking not fucking send? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it didn't fucking send. No, it did send. Dude, fucking stop messaging me. I can't. Oh, it did. Hey, 
Hey man, I'm sorry, bro. It's just I was fucking eating food upstairs, and you fucking I seen the fucking me messages like over and over again. I haven't even listened to anything yet, so I'll um just give me a minute to listen to all the fucking messages because you sent me 17. It's gonna take like 20 minutes for me to listen to these now. All right, hang on a minute. All right. Yeah. Uh...